Why do we do a urine test? There are multiple reasons why you might be asked to leave a urine sample. To test for urinary tract infection, for pregnancy as a health screening, uh, for possible sexual transmitted diseases, or a drug test. But no matter what the reason is, there are two main types of urine collection, clean catch and the dirty catch. But how do you collect the urine specimen? Let's talk about each of them. Imagine that your urine stream has three parts. Initial part, the beginning when you start peeing, middle part, and the last third portion when you're almost done peeing. So for the clean catch, you will take a cleaning wipe and you're going to wipe from the front to the back. And you will be very meticulous cleaning your labia, spreading the labia and cleaning the urethra area as well. You're gonna start peeing in a toilet and then after counting till five, put the cup towards your urethra and collect the middle stream of your urine. Remove the cup, finish peeing on a toilet and here you go, you have a clean catch urine. So for the dirty catch, you don't need to wipe anything. You just take a cup and you start peeing in the cup. We're collecting the first portion of your urinary stream. Why is it important? The clean catch collection technique usually used when we screen for urinary tract infection for possible blood in the urine. And we use a dirty catch collection technique when we test for sexual transmitted diseases. For STD testing, the reason why we do dirty catch, because the bacteria that are causing STD, like gonorrhea, chlamydia, mycoplasma, ureoplasma, they like to live in the urethra. And that initial stream will more likely to contain those bacteria. So we want to make sure that we definitely capture that bacteria before it gets flushed out of the urethra. If you can do that collection first thing in the morning, that would be the best. For the screening for urinary tract infection, we want to catch a bacteria that lives in the bladder. We don't want to have any additional possible bacteria that lives on the urethra or lives on surrounding tissues that contaminate the urine and possibly give a false positive result. That's why we do a clean catch sample. If you're being tested for possible pregnancy, it doesn't really matter uh, what type of collection you will do. The morning urine is usually has the highest concentration of the pregnancy hormone, so it's more likely to show a positive pregnancy test. For the drug test, it doesn't really matter. They will be able to test for the drug if it's there. Depending on the test, you will wait from one to several days to get the results. So when we test for the infection, for urinary tract infection. First, we will receive urinalysis. And urinalysis looks at what exactly cells are in your urine. So we can see the blood cells, we can see the white blood cells, and it kind of can give a preliminary um, result to your doctor if there is any suspicions for infection it's important to do this testing because appearance of the urine is not always indicatory of what's exactly going on. For example, eating a lot of protein will make your urine very foamy, but it's not necessarily an abnormal finding. If you eat beets, your urine might turn red, but it doesn't mean that there is actual blood in the urine, and we're not going to know uh, until we do the urinalysis. So the next test is urinary culture. So in the lab, they will try to culture the bacteria in your urine. Simply speaking, they will put your bacteria in a different petri dish and they will add different antibiotics and they will see which antibiotic will kill that bacteria or which antibiotic won't work for the bacteria. This is a very important and helpful test when you treat someone with a recurrent urinary tract infections because you want to make sure that you're very precise with the choice of antibiotics. Hydration is important and obviously if you drink a lot of water, your urine will be a lighter color and if you dehydrate it, it will be darker color. Usually it's not going to affect the test result. However, it's better to do everything in moderation so you have a high chances to determine if there is any abnormalities. If you're looking for the blood cells in the urine and your urine is very diluted, it might be a little difficult to find those blood cells. 
So there are multiple reasons why you might be asked to give a urine sample. And when we get to the doctor's office, nurse will explain to you what exactly type of uh, urine sample they need. If you know that you will be giving a urine sample, you don't really need to do anything differently the day before. Don't try to change your diet and just drink in moderation and you will be good to go.